Welcome to Unlock Layouts. In this video, today we are going to discuss finger and multiplier based layout. Let's start the video. See now, in this video we are seeing a multiplier and finger based videos. So first we have a four MOSFETs here. So this is all MOSFETs are N channel MOSFET. So M1, M2, M3, M4 all the MOSFETs are M channel MOSFET. But now M1, the width of the MOSFET is 400 nano. See here the width of the MOSFET is 400 nano. And the finger of the MOSFET is 1. And multiplier is also 1. Now in M2, we are taking width of the MOSFET is 200. And finger is equal to 2. So we will just take a look of property of this MOSFET. See we have a MOSFET, M1 MOSFET. So I will take it, I will keep it here. So M1 MOSFET, the name of the MOSFET is M1. The overall width of the MOSFET, which means the total width of the MOSFET is 400. The number of fingers and number of multipliers is equal to 1 and 1. So now again we are going to see the property of M2 MOSFET. See, same the overall width of the MOSFET is 400, but number of the fingers is 2. So now I am going to, we are going to see the, what, are, what is the difference if suppose two fingers are there and one fingers are there and what about multipliers also suppose if one multipliers is there and two multipliers is there so what is the difference between single multiplier and two multiplier we'll just this uh, m3 is a n mass and now i'm going to the property of here so now i make it this as a one finger and one multiplier and so the total width is 400 apply apply see here n4 MOSFET n channel MOSFET so we have a total width of 400 and number of multipliers is 2 see now all the MOSFET having same width which means 400 see all the m1 m2 m3 m4 MOSFETs are the same width but m1 and m3 MOSFETs having single finger single multiplier and m2 MOSFETs having two finger and two multiplier so m m2 and m4 correspondingly m2 having two fingers and one multiplier and m4 having one finger and two multipliers now just i am going to extract the layout from this point so now i am going to layout excel and i am already it's there extracted so i am going to extract the new layout form so now we are coming to the just i am going to discuss now with the finger see this is a m1 m1 mosfet so net name is a m1 mosfet so i am going so little bit deeper so this is a m1 mosfet see m1 mosfet so here schematic it's highlighting m1 mosfet the total width of the mosfet is 400 so just i am clicking this layout and i am going to the property of this layout so parameter so the total width of the mosfet is 400 and number of fingers is 1 okay so just now we are going to i am going to measure what is the width of the mosfet see from here to here we have a 0 0.40 and from here to here we have a 0 0.41 so the total width of the mosfet is in a, this direction which means from here to here from 0 to y direction see the total width of the mosfet is 0 0.4 which means 400 micron the effective gate length is also 400 micron from here to here this is a gate length so gate length of the gate is also 0 0.4 microns so just we will take a zoom see the gate length is also 0 0.4 micron and the od size is also 0 0.4 micron which means the gate length is 0 0.4 micron and the overall od length is also 0 0.4 micron so now as i said earlier in my finger and multiplier video so each and every unit square consider from here to here we have a unit square so we have a number of unit square in the polysilicon so in this unit square we have a voltage drop so 400 micron is a lengthy lengthy devices as per my design so it doesn't mean 400 micron everywhere it's a lengthy devices as per my design 400 micron is a lengthy device and here due to the lengthy gate so it's a width of the gate right so width of the gate is 400 and due to the width of the gate i am losing the voltage which means i am facing the ir drop issue so in order to prevent the ir drop issue i am going for a two fingered device so this is a first m1 transistor m1 mosfet is a single fingered devices and m2 
so to prevent to avoid the ir related issues now i am going for a two multiplier device see this is a two multiplier device or two fingered devices so here now i am going to measure the gate length see gate length is 0.2 so in earlier video in earlier mosfet this above mosfet we have a gate length of 0.4 micron here so we have a 0.4 micron of gate length with a single single finger so now what i did because i am facing some ir problem due to the 0.4 micron width wise width wise it's a big mosfet so i am facing some ir related issue so now i am going to avoid the ir related issue just by splitting the gate area okay the gate area i am splitting but just we'll take a look of the od area od area is also 0.2 from 0.67 you just calculated by the calculator what multiplication of 0.2 into 0.67 so it's somewhere around some area 0.2 into 0.67 but the effective length of the gate the effective length of the gate here we are dividing by 2 which means above video above m1 mosfet so we have a 400 microns now we have a gate area of 200 micron but here just we'll take a property of this device see just two finger but the total width is 400 the the device size is remain same but what is the difference between the finger in the sense just we are dividing the gate by 2 gate area we are splitting by 2 that is called finger but the total width of the mosfet is 400 here also 400 and above m1 mosfet this mosfet also the total width is 400 so the width wise which means the overall width the overall width of the mosfet here we are not doing any changes with the finger only what we are doing we are just changing the width of the gate which means we are splitting the gate and we are dividing the gate by 2 and we are making two fingers so this is the difference between single finger and single dual multiplier sorry single finger and two mult two fingers what is the difference between two finger and single finger in the sense just dividing the gate area by 2 so but the width of the transistor and overall width of the transistor is remain same here so now again we are going for the multiplier video so this is a left side right we have a multiplier m3 and m4 is the multipliers so we have a m3 and m4 is the multiplier devices just i am just rearranging that's all i am not doing anything over here so it's a multiplier so first we have a m3 m3 n channel mosfet so m3 n channel mosfet in schematic the property of n3 m channel mosfet is total width is 400 number of multipliers is 1 so just we are closing and we are taking a look see it's a layout detail total width of the mosfet is 400 and number of multipliers is 1 so we are just i am just going to measure the gate length so everything is remained gate length here so gate length is 0.400 micron okay so now bottom side we have a two multiplier device see m4 has a two multipliers properties here 400 micron is a width and multiplier is 2 so now here also i am going to measure the gate area from here to here see the both transistor having the gate area of all the transistor having the gate area of 0.4 micron so here multiplier 0.4 micron even if it is a single multiplier or two multipliers the gate area is remain same with 0.4 micron and the overall width of the mosfet is remain same 400 microns so gate area is also same here also gate area same and what does it mean two multipliers in the sense see this is a single multiplier devices which means the single copy of the one n channel mosfet but if you are mentioned two multipliers the same size wise the replication which means one more copy this is a one more copy of the mosfet so this is a multiplier the difference between multiplier and finger is very very uh, easy to understand based on the gate length suppose if you have a two finger the gate length 0.4 will be here divided by 0.2 so gate length is gate width is dividing we are dividing the gate area by 2 by using finger but multiplier we are not dividing the gate area by 2 or nothing just we are making a copy of the same device so this is difference between finger and multiplier based on the layout 
so multiplier size wise all the devices m1 m2 m3 m4 all the devices having 400 micron but here two fingers if you are mentioned gate area we are dividing by 2 but here in multiplier this is a single multiplier devices this is a two multiplier devices see if i am clicking m4 here two devices are getting enabled if i am clicking m th m3 one device is alone getting enabled because this is a one multiplier devices this is a two multiplier devices see the total multiplier is two so this is a difference between multiplier and finger i hope i have given some valuable information to you in this video thank you for watching my video if you like this video please click like button and share this video to your friends for more details about this video please contact us to my email id and follow us on my facebook page and twitter page and kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell button